If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. John McKay, John, welcome in. You are a uh, Baltimorean, apparently, like the rest of us, correct? Certainly, and Mr. Thanks for having me on today. Good to have you on. Now, you are a, uh, a, a unlike me, athletic supporter. You are actually an athlete. Now, you uh, did you pitch in the big leagues, minor leagues? Minor leagues, minor leagues. I pitched, uh, signed out of uh, UNC Charlotte in 2000. And I uh, went into minor league ball, pitched short season A ball, got pitcher of the year there, moved up to Midwest League, had surgery that off season. Was in rehab, was at break camp in April. Where'd you go to high school? Calvert Hall. Calvert Hall. Yeah. So you were a Calvert Hall stud, huh? I was, I, was a, I was a Calvert Hall stud, that's right. Okay, so you, you went to Charlotte. Why Charlotte? Uh, they, they, they paid the right price to get me down there. It was a cost issue, and it was a great city, great location. I wanted to go south. And they gave me a scholarship. Well, you get better weather down there, especially from a pitching perspective, right? No question, no question. So what did you learn in your uh, big league or uh, pursuit of uh, being that guy? And I guess you must have played with some guys that are in the bigs now. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I mean, in college ball, I played with John Main. He was on my team with the Mets now. I uh, lived with Miguel Cabrera, as a matter of fact, uh, minor league ball, who's now with Detroit. Uh, he's obviously having a great career. I can, I can probably name 20 other guys, but... Uh, well, that's a hell of a thing to have that dream. Because, I mean, I, look, Drew and I talk about it every day. Every kid in my neighborhood dreamed of being a baseball player. I mean, and that, you know, part of my whole free the bird stance and all that stuff is that doesn't go on so much in Baltimore anymore where you got neighborhoods and every kid wants to be a big league ball player. Clearly you wanted to be a big league ball player and you, you know, you were on a pathway to realizing that dream. That's, that's pretty cool. I got a baseball card. That was a big goal. So uh, that, was, that was a, that put a smile on my face. Golf, golf, golf Coast League, what was it? No, I didn't. I was there for six days. Where did you pitch? What, what cities uh, did you play in? I was in Melbourne for about a week when the rookie ball, like, moved to the mid, uh, New York Penn League in uh, Utica, which is now bought by Rifkin. He owns that as uh, the Aberdeen team. Moved from there to the Midwest League in Chicago, and then went down to Brevard County when I was on the Manatee roster in uh, Florida State League when I got uh, when I retired from my, Melbourne. Never got there. The Manatee League. No, the Florida State League. The Brevard County Manatees was the. Uh, Who was the manager of that team? Uh, Who did you work with? I mean, with the Marlins, I guess you know, was Dombrowski still there when you? Uh... Yeah, he he had it, and then uh, Heizeng had sold it, and then. Um, I played with John Diebel, who coached the Australian Olympic team, was one of my managers. Okay. Uh, Ray Sears was the pitching director, uh, and so was a guy named Britt Burns, who was pretty famous back Britt then. Britt Burns, yeah. absolutely. Britt Burns, a hell of a pitcher with the, uh, with the White Sox. He was a uh, roving instructor, as a matter of fact. I could tell some stories about Britt. He was, he was a good guy. All right, well, he, a life for baseball guy, no, no doubt question, about that. No question. So following that dream, obviously, uh, no regrets on that, right? No, absolutely not. I met my wife in spring training uh, down in Florida. She's a Cocoa Beach girl. And then... Uh, Moved, back, moved for her back to Baltimore, so I listened to that every winter for four months, and then uh, until the weather gets warmer. <laughs> so you still following baseball? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, but, you know, Went to opening day, you know, did the whole thing. Right, right, no, no problem at all, but I mean, as a Calvert Hall kid, you grew up an Oriole guy, right? Oh, no question, no question. Uh, we, we had season tickets to the family growing up in Memorial Stadium. We were in the third row in the bleachers. Uh, you didn't play against Teixeira, though. You are too old for him, right? He's a little bit behind me. Yeah, yeah he was younger than you, me, right? Yeah. Yeah, played. I, Kenny Cloud was my age. He, he played with Seattle, I believe. Uh, sure, absolutely. He's, he was two years older than me. Patterson kid, right? What the McDonough? McDonough. Okay, yeah. but okay. Well, I'm trying to think it was somebody Patterson in that era. Um, Billy. What was his last name? I, I uh, okay, all right. So I, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> we can play the name game all day here. Probably. So why here? Why now? And I, I know you uh, you work with our good friends uh, over at Enoch Office Equipment, and you were in the real estate game, correct? Yeah, I was in that for about four years. Still do it. Um, obviously, the market's changed and had to seek... Uh, a lot of people <laughs> used to be in real estate. Yeah, exactly. I'm still in it, but like I said, I need to seek employment elsewhere. It was a good fit for uh, Joe Enoch and myself, and I'm um, doing that also. Uh, so coach. why this? Why do you want to do sports radio? I, I've always enjoyed writing. I had some stuff published in college uh, in, some, in the NASCAR magazine, as a matter of fact, of all things. You're a NASCAR not, guy? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. But it was uh, <laughs> at, the, at the time, it was a great internship. Traditional sports fan for you? Just baseball, football? I would say so, yeah, 100%. 100%. What, do you, what are you into? What are you watching on weekends? What do you like? I watch the birds every week, every night, that's for sure. There's no doubt about that. I watch uh, big college basketball, big, a huge NFL fan. Um, I'll tune into the college baseball scene once in a while just to see what's going on. Um, other than that, though, you know, pretty mainstream. So golf, definitely golf as well. Well, you are the only person that has identified themselves as a washed-up athlete. If somebody, <laughs> you know, somebody that had the dream of doing something at that level. There are a lot of people who come in here and kick the ball around in high school or played a little bit of this or played a little bit. I think you're the only person in the competition who got a paycheck at some point. That's right. As meager as it might have been at A-ball. That's for, even it was meager. For, for Campbell's soup and ramen noodles because, you know, I know how that, go, how that rolls. I've talked enough baseball players to know. So, well, look, man, congratulations on uh, uh, getting as far as you did with your uh, – if you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.